floss tube. Welcome to Stitch with Mel. I am Melissa and it is great to have everybody here. I don't have a clue what time you're watching this because I honestly don't know what time I'm going to upload it, but I'm so glad that you stopped by to visit with me for a little while. I don't know how long this video is going to be either. <laughs> I really don't. I've got some things to show you. I have a finish, a completely, um, expected everybody's been waiting on it finished and if you're on my Instagram or my Facebook you've already seen it um, a couple of you have gotten messages from me um, but everybody else is gonna see it here and you guys can feel free to drop in my DMs I love to chat I'm horrible about keeping up with liking and following everybody on Instagram or Facebook but I do like to be there um, I've kind of I've turned the notifications back on but I'm still, you know, staying disciplined about not living on um, all of the social media. So, today is February the 15th. My Valentine's stuff stayed up just for you guys and then it will come down. It's like 9 o'clock at night. Um, today has been a long day. Um, I stitched all day yesterday and all morning this morning. Um, finished... And Donna's piece at noon, took it over, saw her and grandma. We enjoyed it together. Um, you're going to see lots of stuff. I'll, I'll follow up the video. I didn't put it in the front. I'll follow up the video with, with all of that. Um, and then I got a phone call mid-afternoon um, informing me that my uncle has cancer. Um, and my aunt's watching this, so we're not going to uh, go into that, except um, we are going to ask for prayers. Lots of prayers. Um, so, um, he's one of my faves. So, I have three uncles and two of them I'm close to. Unfortunately, one of them just lives too far away and we, we just haven't been close. But, um, yeah, he's, he's a great. So, he's going to fight through this and we're going to make it all in one piece and everything's gonna be good so um, he's also my tech guy so those little things that everybody else doesn't see he sees in my videos and yeah I always get to hear about it so um, anyways this is the 38th show so if you're just joining me um, I hope that you subscribe I hope that you like the video. I hope that you enjoy yourself. If you're stitching, please feel free to stitch along. Um, I have things to show you in haul. I have things to show you in mail. I have things to show you in whips. So, um, let's see, what else do I have in news-wise? The kiddos are great. Um, Katie has gone to the fertility specialist and is starting that journey. Um, it's a bad week for her. Um, her pain is high. She had to leave work early yesterday. So, yeah, that, that stinks. So, just keep her in prayers, too. Her name is Katie. Erica interviewed today for the position of treasurer in their student organization on campus. So excited for her. And Trey and Madeline are moving along on wedding plans. I am lightly involved in that. They asked me for help, but... I don't want to encroach. This is their time. So um, I want to be there to help them. So she takes me dates that she's working this month. And we're going to see if we can get together and do some planning. I do know she wants hunter green as her color. And she wants sunflowers. But no burlap and no galvanized metal. So sunflowers without the country look is what we will do. And it will be an outside wedding. And it will be in October. So it will be beautiful. Check out my beautiful new nails. I love this color. This is um, from my friend um, Krista. It's Color Street Nails. So I'm going to try to start putting things in my description. So we'll see how that goes. But I'll, I'll try to link her down there. So like I said, I have no idea when this thing's going to publish. So it might be tonight or it might be in the morning. I'm taking my daddy to the doctor tomorrow. That will be fun. He will be treating me to lunch because we're going to Little Rock. Why not? So, um, I had already taken it. Y'all already heard my story about my mandatory vacation day. So, I would already taken it. 
and it is the middle of tax season for mom and so she was like hey would you want to hang out with daddy and I was like sure because I love hanging out with my dad and uh, she's like he has a doctor's appointment at Little Rock and I was like fine we will go eat steak and she was like okay bring me some back so that was great all right let's go ahead and kick it in mm, it's been five minutes so if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you saw that I got to go to the Stitcher Garden in Conway last week. That was a blast. I went down to see my sister because for whatever reason we live an hour and a half away and we only see each other for holidays. <clears throat> That's going to stop. And um, so we decided whenever we start talking about it that we were going to um, go to the stitching store because I've never been. And so, um, met Miss Linda. She was absolutely beautiful. That story was amazing. I was in heaven. I was like, this is what heaven looks like. And my sister was like, yeah, I was like, this is what my heaven looks like. So, um, we looked around, we looked around, we looked around and Mandy goes just all of a sudden, Ooh, I like that. I was like, okay. So what did she pick out? Well, let me show you. My sister, who does not decorate, like her walls are bare in her house, um, she picked out a lavender and lace. Um, this is called Celtic Spring. Isn't that gorgeous? So. Linda explained to me while I was in the store, because I was like, who does all your models? Because, you know, her, her store is just modeled all over the place. And she's got shelves and shelves and shelves. And, um, I mean, stuff hanging on the wall, stuff, stuff displayed everywhere. I said, who does your models? Y'all know I get dry mouth. I'm sorry. And she said, some are my employees and some are customers. And I was like, customers are leaving their, mo leaving their pieces, you know, up there? And she said... What they do is they take the stuff off the wall when they're decorating for, for seasons or holidays or whatever, and they'll display them here. And then whenever it's time to decorate for that season, they'll come get them. So, yeah, she's got sections of, of Halloween and Christmas and all of the patriotic holidays. And, I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. What a novel idea, guys. <laughs> I mean, really. You know, just have that safely stored on a wall somewhere where people can enjoy it when you're not displaying in your house. I thought that was great. Um, they have stitching weekends on the second and last Saturday of the month. They have a nice long set of tables. They have the stuff set up. They have, I think they had orc containers. Um, she's got a Keurig there. She's like, hey, if you want to, you know, bring a different flavor, that's fine. You can use our Keurig and, you know, bring your own coffee, whatever. She was like, just come by and stitch. And then she said, how far away are you? And I was like, I'm like an hour and a half. And she was like, you have absolutely no excuse not to be here. I was like, I might have to drop you in and do that. So it won't happen all the time. But um, if I'm off on the second and fourth Saturday of the month, I may just have to, you know, do that. So um, we went ahead and... Um, I got the material, which is 28 count willow, and this is a 17 by 23 piece. So it's a beautiful color. It'll actually go like this. Um, she let me fill up all of the linens and, um, you know, she asked me what I stitch on. And I said, I've always done Ada. I'm trying to do linens. I've done Even Weave, I've done Monaco, I've done um, Lugana, and I love all of that, but I'm wanting to, to kind of go into the linens, and she said, well, the thing with the linens is, you know, you get the slubs, and I was like, yeah, that's what Aunt Donna doesn't like, is the slubs. She does stitch on linen some, but she doesn't like the slubs, and so she said, I'm sorry for the noise, y'all. She said, well, um, you know, we could try to get some pieces without, and this isn't bad at all. But, um, so this will be a nice piece. And I did tell Mandy this was not happening probably this year. It's like, I may get it started, but it's not going to happen. So I have a picture and I'm posting it. I already know, um, in the intro, but, um, 
Miss Linda went shopping for me. She just took the pattern and went and bought all of the beads. I've never in my life done a bead piece, ever. So this will be an adventure. So that's lavender and lace. And there's a whole season, I mean a whole series of them for all of the seasons, but Mandy wanted that one. While we're looking at that, my sister, my beautiful little sister, announces to me that they're going to Scotland this summer. Mandy does lots of research, family research. She has lots of, lots of just investigating stuff. She loves history. She wanted to be a history teacher. She got a degree in um, GIS, which is um, looking for all of the natural stuff, you know, that it, it goes along with power lines and everything else, just doing all of the land research, whatever, um, that can find, you know, where earthquakes are going to happen, like all of the, the earth stuff. I don't know. Anyways, now she is a, um, the, the COVID tracker people, you know, that call you and, you know, make sure that everything's good and all that. She does that, um, like nationally. So, um, anyway, she said, Hey, we're going to Scotland. Oh, and last year, last year or the year before she found, um, our family crest for my parents. Um, we are Thompson, Thompson's, and my mom is a Thompson without the P. And so she found the Thompson and the Thompson family crest because she did all of our DNA research and, you know, found out that we're predominantly, you know, Scottish and all of the stuff. And so she said, hey, we're going to take a trip. And I was like, oh my gosh, Mandy, that's so exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. That'll be fun. It'll be a blast. And she was like, and we want you to come with us in July. I was like, you can't pop a trip that fast on somebody. It's, well, it's February. It's February. I was like, there's there's not that long of a time. And she was like, no, 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 we're going to take care of it all. And I was like, oh, but I already have two stitch retreats. All of my vacation time is planned out. I was like, there's just no way I can get away. So they're going to take the trip. And I was so excited to be invited. But... I'm going to take care of their, their spring fairy for them. <laughs> My parents have always been, um, just enthralled. I say always for the last several years have been just amazed with Ireland. They've been, um, mom has broken an arm over there. Daddy's had a heart attack over there. I mean, you know, they're, they're vested. Um, I think, I can't remember if we bought a plot of land or a tree or something over there. I mean, they're, they're vested. And, uh, mom came up with, <laughs> my grandma's going to throw a fit watching this. Mom came up with an idea, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago or something. It was, I think it was before the pandemic and everything else happened. She was like, we would love to retire over there. And I was like, really? Like, really? Like, you're going to not see your family, you know? So, it's not going to happen. Grandma, it's not going to happen. It's not, it's not going to happen. Anyways, while I was there, I did pick up some cards. Um, this is her card for the shop. And I do know for a fact... That lots of people call her to get things filled, get material, get patterns, get threads. It's going to happen, you know, now that I have contact with somebody. Um, cause that's what it takes relationships for me. Um, I'm not going to be the one at the, at the retreats and stuff that's like bounding in and owning the place. It's not going to be me. Um, but you know, once I've made that connection, then we're good. So she walked around, she, um, she put a sticky note, as soon as I told her that I had a floss tube and all the stuff, I wanted to take pictures, she put a sticky note on her shirt with the name of my floss tube. So she said she doesn't really have time to watch floss tube, but maybe she's going to go watch mine. That would be nice. Um, and then I picked up this card, Patricia's Sewing and Alterations. <clears throat> Because it was out there for the world to pick up, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So, I'm kind of curious if she would do some finishings, too. 
Who knows? Um, while I was there, I decided I wanted to try. What is that for? Oh, I don't know what that's for. That's for this. I wanted to try um, a fox and rabbit. And this is a half. 36 count. I was trying to see what the color was. Tabachina, maybe? I'm going to go ahead and take it out because I feel like there's going to be some modeling here. Anyways, it's a large piece because I wanted to try a large piece. And it's gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? So I don't know why I wanted to try purple, but I did. We were looking at it and discussing it, and I said, what can I put on this? I need to fold it better so I can put it back in the bag. I'll do that in a minute. And um, I don't know, me and Mandy went around. We walked around and around and around and around and around. And so finally we came up with, because we looked at ink circles, we looked at all kinds of things, honestly. Um, and I've never looked at a Kesslin's. This is what I picked out. This is called, is it just called Cross Stitch Fun? It's just all kinds. Of motifs and then Mandy said gold and purple purple is her favorite color and so I said what kind of gold because there's only a million and one kinds she also has all of the threads like she has silks and she has cottons she has all kinds of variegated I mean she has all kinds of threads um, but she picked out 728 which is a good gold. So I got five skeins to start. Because that's all she had. She's like, you're going to take all my 728. I was like, I'm so sorry, Miss Linda. But thank you. So that's what I got from the Citrus Garden. And I'm looking forward to going back and visiting more. And potentially stitching. So, um, what else? Let me go ahead and go through what I got in the mail this week. You see I'm wearing a shirt that says stitching on it. You can't see anything else. So I ordered from Stitching Goddess Designs a couple of shirts. This says stitching is therapy and then stitch with mail. Love that heart with the needle. So I got a t-shirt and a sweatshirt because I wanted to have something um, comfortable to wear to... Um, the retreats, something to wear, you know, when I'm talking to you guys is nice too. Um, not necessarily to brand myself, <clears throat> but because I use the hashtag so much, and I should have put a hashtag in front of it, but I didn't. Um, stitching is therapy, you know, it's just kind of my motto. And I do know that somebody else was using that before me um, because Instagram already had gone on there as a hashtag, which is fine. Um, they have stitching is my therapy. They have stitching is therapy. They had different ways of saying it, which is fine because obviously stitching is therapy for lots of us. So I got the sweatshirt in. I got the t-shirt in. Let me tell you, I messaged her. I don't know. It was something like eight or nine o'clock. I didn't think about time differences and I think she's on the east side. Um, anyway, so she was like, Hey, send me your thoughts. I'm in bed. I may fall asleep on you. And I was like, perfectly fine. Sent her my thoughts. The next night, she sends me a picture as I'm in bed. And um, she's like, hey, this is what I came up with. What do you think? And I'm like, perfect. Put it on navy. Is that cool? And then we discussed, you know, what sizes of shirts and everything. And I like my shirts big and bulky and, you know, plenty of room. And so I got it two weeks later. Not even two weeks. Probably a week later. I don't think that conversation was two weeks ago. Um, anyway, so I just got that in the mail today. And yeah, I love it. So that is Stitching Goddess Design. She is on um, Facebook and 
you just message her with orders if she already has things but then she will design things so um midnight stitchers society i think who has that there's a couple of people who are using that um stitch queen there's there's all kinds of sayings that are going around that's who's doing them And they're very reasonably priced. All right. So I got my Just Cross Stitch magazine in. Isn't she lovely? So I was excited to look through this. I always forget when the magazines are going to come out. So it's always a surprise for me. So it's like, oh, I have mail. And so I looked through this and nothing just absolutely jumped out at me. But several things I was like, oh, I want to do. So... Um, I just had a, um, a friend, one of my officers, he just had a baby and they've got some baby pieces in there. So I'm thinking that's going to be part of it. And then I had my friend Jackie Hula on Instagram and Facebook sent me some material. I have to get her jewelry out to her. Miss Jackie, if you're watching, it's coming. She ordered some jewelry from me and she sent me... What is this? Um, a 32 count Lugana in antique white. This is 18 by 27 piece. Isn't it beautiful? I think she said she wasn't doing this small anymore. That's what I think she told me. And then this is a 28 count white Jobelin. And this is a quarter. Already surged, ready to go. And then she sent me an ivory 28 count even weave, my artiste day. So I'm loving it. I can't wait to do some things on that. I need to get through some whips. Grandma said, when I took the piece over and fixed it and show you, she said, what's next? And Donna said, I want you to work on um, Changed World. And I was like, I am. I can do that. But I also want to finish a lot of my whips, especially get some of the smaller ones out of the way. So, um... On to the next. This is my finished piece. First, let me show you my little card. Got my name. Got the date that I started and finished. It said in the year, but I wanted it to be more detailed. And then I wrote at the bottom for my dear Aunt Donna, quote, Bean. We call her Bean because she was little. And she was little and it stuck. All right. So, I'll <laughs> make sure you guys can see it. This is the Red House Sampler by Brenda Keys. It is on 28 count even weave, DMC. started it on April the 25th, two days after my birthday last year, and finished it today. She asked me, I asked her what she wanted me to do about the year and the initials. The year was done in Roman numerals on the pattern. I did 2022. And the initials down here were BK for Brenda Keys. And I put in my initials and Aunt Donna's initials. So, this thing was heartache and joy, all in the same. Um, I was telling somebody, who was it? I don't remember, somebody commented, a couple of people commented 
Um, and they were like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And I was like, you know, it is, but that thing was so much trouble. So the first time I started it, I started it, I actually want to say I probably started it sooner than April 25th. April 25th is the day that I posted on Instagram when I got a row of trees done. And I know for a fact that I did the trees all together. So I started on a piece of material that was too small. Um, we thought that it was going to be just perfect and it was not. So I got it started, figured out fast. Um, I always do borders first because my fear is that things are going to be too small. Did it too small. Grandma took out everything. Um, and I have that piece of material for another project that I'm actually working on now. So I started on this one, got the border going and I had measured too far over because I started on a corner, measured too far over, um, had to completely frog the, the border and in the end, somehow, some way, because I started at the bottom. I wanted to get that house done, honestly. That house was massive, and I knew if I could get the house done, then I would be okay with the rest. Cause I'm not like Speedy Gonzalez, but I, I, I do okay. I'm pretty fast on stuff. And um, so I started on the bottom, and then I wanted to get the alphabet done. Let's get the alphabet out of the way. Um, my brain does not think in two by two, so, you know, I was going over two. And, uh, so I started on the alphabet and it's off. So I had to completely frog the alphabet. Um, I had gone ahead and started on the top left part of the, the, the big plant, the deer. So I had to frog that. And then I had to frog, what's it? There was frogs everywhere. Then I had to frog the whole middle tree section, um, because it was off by like five. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, and Donna, I love you, but that thing was huge. And one of my neighbors from down the street, actually, one of my mom's neighbors, she commented on my post on Facebook. She was like, oh my gosh, Melissa, I love it. I need one of those. I was like, she said, where do I get it? I was like, I did that. She hasn't commissioned me to do it, but I promise you, if she does, it's going to cost her because it's a lot a whole lot. Now, in all transparency, that was not monogamous stitching. And most of you guys know that. I did mania. I did what else did I do? I did my piece. Um, I've done lots of, of new starts. So, you know, if it was monogamous stitching, it, it would probably have gone a lot faster. Um, that piece is also seen a lot, you know, with, with my journey. And so, and I think I told y'all last week or the week before, um, there were times when I just put that thing up, um, because things that I was going through and in the process of, you know, my therapy and everything else was like, I just can't do that. So, um, all of it was stitched in love and it does need to be washed and then ironed. And then my uncle Gary, um, told me tonight when I went over to see him, make sure he was okay and everything. He was like, um, I need to get that framed. <laughs> God love him. He just, he wants to get all my stuff framed, which is perfect. You know, I want him to be able to frame it. So you'll see in the video later, I took a little bitty video. I asked her where she was going to hang it. And, um, so yeah, I can't wait to actually see it hung up. Our framer is not fast at all. So it may be Christmas before she gets that back. I don't know. Um, so on to whips. That was a lot. Y'all, I screamed that last stitch. I was shaking. Like I was, you know, trying to stitch and I was shaking and Grandma was like, why are you shaking? And I was like, because I was just so excited. And so, you know, I screamed, I cried. I went in and took a shower because I hadn't showered, you know, since Sunday. Because I came in from work, Super Bowl's on. I tried to stitch because I was like, I'm going to get this thing done tonight. I tried to stitch through the Super Bowl. Well, that was impossible because I was watching the game and watching the halftime show. That halftime show, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm keeping in mind my demographics and some of you probably just hated it and I'm sorry. 
that you hated it. Um, but, you know, there's other entertainment that you could probably watch or something. I thoroughly loved it. I love seeing Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is like, what, I think he's 54, 56, something like that. Um, when I saw him sitting behind the mixing board, my heart stopped. I was like, this is an announcement. I know for a fact Dr. Dre is coming back. He was responsible for everybody that was on that stage getting their their popularity, getting their getting introduced to the world and their finances. I mean, he was responsible for them. And so it was just it was like he had one big family, you know, wrapped around him. And then when he sat down at the keyboard and you heard the notes starting up for, for Tupac and I was like, What? And so, you know, then you're like, What? It's fixing to happen, you know. And uh yeah, it was just so mm. I loved it. I loved all of it. Okay, anyways. I wasn't up dancing. I was cross-stitching. But I loved it. Alright. So, Aunt Donna says she wants to see Changed World next. And this is actually a stitch along right now. I think... Sambury Stitches. And I can't remember who else is involved in it. This is Scarlet House. Changed World. If you can't read it, it says the world has changed and so have we. Learning to be still, yearning to be free. Truth can be very elusive to man with faith as our compass resolutely we stand. So I said once I finished my other piece, and I'm still waiting on it so that you guys can see it and I can hang it up. I said this would be my next piece. And... I started it. <laughs> I got the saying at the top. I've got my square for the saying at the bottom. And I need to just really focus in on this one. Um, I knew when it was released. Was it released last year from market or was it just released? I knew last year when it was released, I wanted to do it. Um... I messaged the designer, hey, I'm all in, you know, this is happening, and, you know, she was like, great, you know, lots of people were doing it, lots of people, um, but this is a goal to, for sure, finish this year. I can remember everything up to the point of my fire, afterwards, just blah, it's a blur. Anyways, um, I can remember saying to Erica, things are fixing to change and it's not going to be fun and it's probably not going to be good. Um, of course, you know, national pandemic. I can remember walking from across the street over here and my grandma standing on the porch And she had on her apron and she had on all of her stuff. And Erica and I were, were out on the on the lawn. And everybody had already decided grandma needed to be protected. We weren't going around grandma, grandma needed to be protected. And this was before she moved in with Aunt Donna and Uncle Gary. And she pointed her bony finger at us. And she said, I promise you. When this is over, we will not do life the same way. She was missing us. She was upset that we couldn't come visit because the kids were always over here. I mean, always from the time they were little. They would just run across the street and they would stay. And I mean, if I went looking for my kids, I would call grandma or my kids there. Why, yeah. <laughs> She's paying no, you know, whatever. But I can remember her standing on the porch and she was fighting tears and you know we were trying to be jolly for her and she was like I promise you when this thing is over that was a month before I lost everything and yeah I promise you when this thing is over our world has changed so 
I changed world. <sighs> um, yeah, Erica's gone. She FaceTimes them all the time. All the time. Katie's gone. She FaceTimes them all the time. Trey will stop in. He works here, so he'll stop in and check in on things. Um, but, you know, who knew what was going to happen over the next few months? And, of course, who knew what was going to happen in the world over the next few months and years, you know? Um, it's crazy. All right. So, worked on that for just a little bit. That didn't get a whole lot of attention. This got more attention because this I can take to work and it's super easy. Um, Red House I, I didn't take to work. After it got so big, I just didn't want to risk. My hair is annoying me the way it's laying. I didn't want to risk the stitches. I didn't want to risk getting anything on it. So, that didn't go. Change the rod I don't take because the material is so flimsy that, you know, I'm... I've learned to, to stitch in hand, and so I like to be at home where I can lay it over my table and stitch that way, so I don't take it to work, but this I do take to work. Um, this is called King. This is by Deneen Parker. I'll get you a picture. Um, Across the Stitch is the name of their Etsy, and that's what this looks like. So this is for a friend of mine. I was hoping to have it for Valentine's Day for his office. He's one of my officers. And I was like, would you want this? And he was like, sure. I'll put it in my office. It didn't happen. But I got King put in. And then you'll have all of the other words stitched over the hair. And then I got his beard put in. And some of his hair started. So, and I need to do the glasses too. What's going to happen on all of this is I'm going to go straight up and down. Like, I was thinking about, you know, sectioning it off, but I don't want that the variation in the way that I stitched it to be obvious. This is 32 count. It's that, what was that stuff called? Murano Car. This is what um, Hobby Lobby's carrying for the 32 count. And I just don't want it to be obvious where I start and stop. So I'm going to make sure that each row is a solid stitch. So that's what he looks like. And I am doing two over two. Even though that's small, I like the look of two. I like the fullness of having two strands. Um, you know, when I'm doing the 40 count and stuff, I'm just going to have to learn to stitch with one. But... I've always done two. It's habit, it's routine, and I like it. All right. And then I caught up my temperature butterfly. I've gotten to where I just do this once a week. It's easier than trying to do once a day. You know, if I come in and I'm like, I don't know what to stitch, I don't want to stitch anything, I might grab it and do it once a day. But for the most part, once a week is good. I can go through and get, you know, even if it's just five days, five, seven days done. So I'm caught up through today. I just want to make sure you guys are seeing it. Yeah. Caught up through today. So we've had some mild temperatures. Nothing major drastic. Um, this week's in the 60s. It's supposed to be storming tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be storming Thursday. So, I hope I don't storm tomorrow. I'm only an hour and a half from Little Rock, but I still don't like to drive in stormy weather down there. Just, you know, people don't know how to drive down there all the time. So, all right. That is all of my whips. What are my plans for the week? You know, I would really like to throw the rest of um, Baby Got Back Stitch in and get it done. Uh, the only day that I work this week is Thursday. So I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I work Monday and I'm off Tuesday because that funky work schedule or vacation schedule. Um, so I think. Um, 
depending on what the weather does Thursday, because I work Thursday, but you know, if it if it's solid, you know, it's if it's good weather this weekend, um, I might even, you know, go over to Aunt Donna's and work outside because it's been really mild, like really nice. But um I wanna do maybe got backstitch. I wanna put in um I would like to put in the entire box of Changed World and get that done in all four corners. I need to fill in all four corners as well. Um, so if I could do the black box and the four corners on that before next week, that would be fabulous. Um, and then I need to just pull some of these out and say, Hey, what, what am I close to? I was going to try whip go. I could not even get myself disciplined enough to make the squares. <laughs> So I wasn't going to hurt myself for that. I need to change out all of my decor. Um, I think I need to get some kind of box that like I can put all of my cross stitching in. I don't think that I want to put it outside in storage. Because I just don't know if, if anything will happen to it texturally. It's textural or word. So I think I need to figure that out. I might just put all that in Erica's closet up in the top part if I can get a nice box for that. What do y'all do with your storage? Like, how do you store? I know, don't tell me what Priscilla does because she puts everything in drawers and I don't have that many drawers. Um, I think she just bought some Sterilite boxes and she's starting to put stuff in there. But I couldn't understand if she's putting her finishing product or if she's actually putting her cross stitch stuff in there. But all of those, for the most part, are smalls, like six by six and smaller. So, oh, I know what I need to do. I need to do two projects for my retreats. I know the theme for one. I haven't gotten instructions on the other one, um, but I do know that there is an exchange. So I'll kind of, I'll ask around. I think Jan Holder's been to the Stitch Etc. And so I'll ask her what they did for their exchanges if it was like a theme thing. Um, because I know Stitch Con, you do a theme back. Like the wrapping, everything is the same thing. So I already have that planned. That's that, that's already going in the head. I just got to get that stitch. So I'll do that. That'll be a secret stitch. I don't know if I'll show you all that or not until after it. Um, but I already have my props and stuff for that bot because I already know, you know, where I'm going. All right. So, any other news? I can't think of anything. Please keep Uncle Rick in prayers. Uncle Rick, we love you. Just keep watching me and be motivated. <laughs> um, can't think of anything. No, no announcements of anything else going on or anything like that. Oh, I started using new scissors. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're super cute. These scissors I have used ooh, since I was a kid. I think they're Fiskars. Is that how you say that? Yeah, Fiskars, Fiskars. Um, but they just got to be dull. And so I geniusly thought that I was going to use Grandma's knife sharpener that's in her knife drawer. And made things worse so I pulled out these other scissors that I bought actually just to have on a hand and I miss my fist guards but it's another generation so I'll put them up as something to remember so before I leave you let me leave you with an inspirational quote believe in yourself push your limits experience life conquer your goals and be happy. We've passed the fourth of or the fourth of July. We've passed Valentine's Day. I was trying to have a moment and I just fourth of July. We've passed Valentine's Day, the whole, you know, love and I told you to love yourself. But my goal for myself for this year and my challenge for you is to make sure that you're taking time to love yourself and believe in yourself. So when things are hard, when things get difficult, when you get discouraged, when you're not meeting those whip go goals, 
um, when you're seeing other people going to retreats and you didn't make it this year, whatever the case may be, just push yourself to do the things that make you happy. So reflect on things, um, you know, maybe journal, write down things that, that you believe in yourself about. Um, maybe write down some goals for yourself, whatever it takes. Um, as I continue my journey and I talk to other people and I listen to other people because I'm a big listener. I'll listen more than I'll talk, believe it or not. I talk a lot in here, but that's different. Um, I, I know that one of the challenges, especially over the last couple of years, is just to not be hard on ourselves, to be perfect, to do all the things, to be involved with everything. It's just not easy. It wasn't easy before, and then this, everything hit, and now it's just life. So as we do life together, make it a point to take care of yourself. I sent a text to a friend of mine this week. Um, Erica's text for Valentine's Day was, you know, love yourself, take care of yourself. Kind of the same thing that I told y'all last week on, on the floss tube. Anyway, so I sent to a friend of mine who is one of her mentors. And I said, I don't know if this is relevant, but 1 Corinthians 13 says love is patient and kind. Um doesn't hate, it's not boastful, it's not envious. Um, I mean, all the things that 1 Corinthians 13 says. I was like, it's not always pointing outwards. Make sure that you're doing that to yourself. You're kind to yourself and you're good to yourself and you're not angry with yourself. You're taking care of yourself. So, there's my message for you. Push your limits, but experience life and be happy. I love you. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah.